Hi everybody, this is Adorable Andrew, and today I'm going to review Super Fire Pro Wrestling 2. Yeah! Man, I have a lot of fond memories of this game. Used to play it a lot back in the day when I used to live in Japan. I'm not sure if this game was actually released in North America or not. You'll have to fill me in on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a character. As you can see, there are actually a lot of different wrestlers you can choose from. <laughs> so yeah, it's a pretty cheesy game. What can I say? One thing I must say about this game, though, is I really love the music. There's a lot of great music in this game. I mean, say what you will about MIDI, but I think the music rocks. The graphics are nothing special. Just typical, like, Super Nintendo graphics. And all the backdrops are the same, like there really aren't any other rings or different kind of crowd or any any of that stuff. There's just there's just nothing else to see in this game. Just wrestlers going at it. <laughs> punch kick, punch kick, punch kick. You know, even if those punches and kicks land, they don't actually do a lot of damage, so they're kind of a waste of time. You'll notice right away, like, there aren't any status bars or anything like that. And, uh, actually you just have to rely on visual cues to to figure out when the other wrestler is getting tired out. It's actually not too hard to tell, though. I mean, you're gonna see this guy here in a bit. He's gonna have, like, stars circling his head. And that's when you know that they're starting to run out of energy. So you can't be outside the ring longer than 20 seconds, or else you just get disqualified. Man, that's what I was going to do to him. I hate when that happens. It just feels so good to throw the guy against the fence. And that's my favorite move right there, just throwing him against the corner post. And I finished him off, like, real fast. I'm, I'm surprised that I was even able to get him that fast. So, you're about to see Hulk Hogan. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not actually Hulk Hogan, but, I mean, seriously, this guy looks like Hogan. Like, just take a look at this guy. This guy in the yellow shorts there. I mean, his name is Dogen, too. So you can't tell me. You can't tell me they didn't base that off of Hogan. So now I'm going to show you a little bit of tag team action. I kind of used to have my favorite wrestlers, but I don't even remember who I used to use the most. So I just I just picked whoever, but I mean, these, these two happen to be pretty pretty decent. They they have more endurance and energy than other wrestlers. The guys I'm fighting are like the first match. And the one that's in the ring right now in the, in the red, he's actually based off of a famous Japanese wrestler. So each wrestler has slightly different moves, but, I mean, really, there's not a huge difference. There's some that kind of look cooler than others, but, in essence, they don't necessarily do more damage, and they don't... They don't do anything else. So I just got spat at there, if you noticed. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh... That's that's you know that's his special move right there. He can he can spew pain at you, and actually it'll come out different colors sometimes too, which is which is kind of neat, I guess.
A little bit of fighting outside the ring. Oh, you better get back in there. Thank God. He keeps trying to kick me. Oh, he got me. Darn. <laughs> so as you noticed, even if I uh, cover him close to the close to the edge of the the ring, he ends up being safe, and 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 I can't I can't actually pin him for three. <laughs> the punches are starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> Did you hear that? It sounds like a flippin' rubber balloon. Oh, I guess all balloons are made out of rubber, aren't they? Hey, what... What are balloons actually made out of? Does anybody know? I love the, you know, the flying moves, the diving moves off of the corner post. Those are pretty cool. I mean, check out the music. Seriously, it's not bad, eh? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fan of video game music. You know, there's all this discussion about, like, the bleeps and bloops in video games and how it's really unappealing, but... You know what? I still like it. I think it really forced a lot of musicians to be, to be creative and... And, and work with a lot of limitations, which sometimes is not a bad thing. So yeah, I'm practically showing you here the whole whole match here. Not the whole thing, but most of it. I mean, you get a pretty good sense of the game at this point, I'm sure. I'm sure. We'll get to some other stuff here in a second. Haha, <laughs> rubber balloon. I mean, some of the sound effects, you know, they're seriously hilarious. As you're about to find out. Ow! I mean, that kick, those kicks sometimes, they definitely look like they're hitting the crotch. Maybe it's just me. Now it's time for something different. Throwing my opponent against the corner post repeatedly. This is my favorite move. Yeah, eat that. <laughs> He's going to be bleeding here pretty soon. Okay, I lied. There it is, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's my favorite move in the game. So I hope you enjoyed that, but one last thing I thought I would show you is this guy right here. Uh, his name is supposed to be Mad Tiger. And as you can see, he breathes frickin' fire. I mean, he's hardcore. He's got some other funny moves too, though. Ah, I just got him with a fire. Nailed him. Check this out. <laughs> How can you not love that? I mean, it's it's a freaking gong. So yeah, a lot of the wrestlers happen to have, you know, different personalities, and they can be kind of fun to play with. Yeah, fire and crotch kick. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Adorable Andrew. Don't forget, hit the corner post.